Hey everyone, often there are more exciting things to worry about than battery life when it comes to specs. But no matter how cool a feature is, if your phone is dead, you can't use it. So what phones out there have the best endurance? I'm Angie for GSM Marina, and these are the best battery champs at the end of 2021, no matter the budget. Let's start with the strictest of budgets. If you're looking for long-lasting phones under 200 euros, one of the first that comes to mind is the Realme 8. It got a whopping 127 hour rating on our battery tests and the 30 watt charger that came in the box was able to charge 56% in half an hour. That's among the longest endurance times that you'll see on this list and very respectable charging. Other than that, it has a sharp 6.4 inch AMOLED, solid performance for a phone in its class and good 4K videos. You'll find it has a headphone jack, NFC and expandable storage. It sports Realme UI 2.0 and it's clean and offers a lot of customization. The design is a little hit or miss and it's very prone to smudges. What you won't find is stereo speakers or stabilization for the 4K videos and there are other more powerful phones that are in the same price range. The Poco M4 Pro 5G, however, is both more powerful and sports 5G, which the Realme doesn't. You'll find it for around the same price as the Realme 8. With a 123 hour rating, its endurance was a little less impressive, but not much worse. The 33 watt charger gets it from 0 to 54% too, which is in the same ballpark. The Poco is a good budget all-rounder and it offers a smooth OS experience with dependable performance. The 6.6 inch screen supports a 90Hz refresh rate and even sports loud enough stereo speakers. It's even splash resistant. Photo and video quality is good, though you can't capture 4K videos here and the GPU is not very powerful. But if you have a limited budget and are looking for an all-rounder with great endurance and 5G, this one is tough to beat. Now if you can spend a little more, our next few options are a little under 300 euro. And here we have another Poco, the Poco F3. It scored a 114 hour rating on our endurance test and it got from 0 to 67% in half an hour with its 33 watt charger. The Poco has an excellent almost 6.7 inch AMOLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate, class leading performance, 5G connectivity and good stereo speakers. We love its design and premium build and despite its gloss and curves, we found it to have good grip. Basically for this price, this is an extremely well balanced phone and it's tough to find a fault here. Its one weakness might be its good but not great photos and videos and the especially lackluster ultrawide camera performance. If photography is more important to you, then perhaps you should take a look at the next phone in this segment. The Redmi Note 10 Pro. It got a 118 hour rating on our battery life tests, which is to say about as much as the Poco F3. With its 33 watt charger though, its charging time was a little less impressive and it got from 0 to 50% in half an hour. Where it excels, however, is in daylight photos and videos. Not to mention the almost 6.7 inch AMOLED panel with a high refresh rate. Performance was dependable and it didn't overheat during our stress tests. It has a beautiful design too, with IP53 rated dust and water protection and Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back. It would have been nice for it to have a higher grade chipset than the Snapdragon 732G and we didn't like that in low light, camera quality was mediocre. Now, if you want a phone that has camera performance that's good both at night and during the day, has good performance and is a battery champ, it's time to look at phones that are in the upper mid range. That is to say, phones that are a little under 400 euro. The OnePlus Nord 2 is one such phone. With 102 hours of endurance, you might be wondering, why is this in a list of phones with amazing endurance? Well, it's certainly not the longest lasting phone here, its charging speed is out of this world. The 65 watt warp charger filled up the entire battery in just 31 minutes. The Nord 2 is also one of the best mid-rangers this year and qualifies as a flagship killer. It has a powerful Dimensity 1200 5G chipset, a nice 90 Hz fluid AMOLED and the super snappy Oxygen OS launcher. Its cameras are pretty good too. The only thing the Nord 2 doesn't have is an IP rating. Oh, and it has limited high frame rate gaming. So what can compete with this? The Realme GT Neo 2. First, its overall endurance is better than the Nord 2, with 111 hours on our battery life tests. And that's without sacrificing the crazy fast charging, which is pretty much the same here. 
The GT Neo 2, however, also sports a flagship level 6.6 inch 120Hz OLED screen, a Snapdragon 875G, one of the fastest chipsets on Android, and a great triple camera on the back. It too doesn't have an IP rating or high refresh rate gaming, but if we're hard pressed to pick between the Neo 2 and the Nord 2, the Realme wins out unless you're really in love with Oxygen OS or the more compact form factor. So if you're not limited by budget and want the best out there, which flagships reign supreme when it comes to endurance? The iPhone 13 Pro Max. Apple's best iPhone ever is one of the flagships with the best battery life this year. It got a 121 hour rating on our battery life tests and the half hour charging times are okay. The 13 Pro Max has the most powerful chipset on the market, class leading speaker quality and a robust build with IP68 protection, a steel frame and ceramic shield front glass. Its flagship cameras take fantastic photos and some of the best videos you can capture on a smartphone. If you're not a fan of Apple or that annoying notch, however, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is a runner up. It scored 114 hours of endurance and its fast charging gets it from 0 to 54% in half an hour. It has the best OLED screen on the market with a 1440p resolution, HDR10 Plus support, S Pen support, and over 1000 nits of max brightness. The quad camera setup is no slouch either, and if you're in need of an absolute beast when it comes to zoom shots, the S21 Ultra is that phone. Battery life is important, but you don't have to sacrifice a great phone for excellent endurance and great charging. Picking any of the phones in this list will surely get you through the day and then some. Thank you for watching everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.